Power Boat Television, North America's premier boating show. Here's this week's Mercury Marine My Boat feature. For years, boaters have been arguing the merits of three blade propellers over four bladed, and usually the argument's been centered all around speed. Now today with higher fuel prices, the discussion is shifting into efficiencies. So this week on my boat, we're gonna take a look at what you can expect when you upgrade from three blades to four blades with twin inboards. Step one in the process was to gather all of the required detail, starting with engine and transmission model numbers and data. On the water, speed and fuel consumption data was recorded at various RPM settings to establish the baseline performance of the three bladed props. So with data in hand, it was off to United Propeller and Machine to meet up with Amanda Holloway and select a new set of props. Amanda transferred all of the boat specifications and the performance data into the Michigan Wheel Marine Propeller Selection Program. This program, along with Amanda's years of experience, soon gave us a recommendation. Well, Amanda, I see these are in from Michigan. Tell me yes. about the propellers you've selected for the boat. Well, you, when you first came in, Mike, you indicated that you were desiring to switch to four blade propellers. And I do agree with you, the most popular choice on today's market. It enables improvements at mid range and hopefully improvements on your gas consumption. Mm -hmm. We've chosen what uh, is typically a superior product nowadays. You're seeing more CNC made propellers as opposed to the old traditional cast propellers. We went with the Michigan Wheel X series. Uh, what I decided to do was go with a 1919 cupped propeller, which will even out to a uh, 1920, which is what our prop scan is telling us is the best suited for your application. Okay, so now that they're here, what else is the crew here at United going to do to the props? Every propeller that comes through United Propeller and Machine is checked. Anything can happen in shipping, anything can happen in production. So what we're going to do is we're going to take your propeller and we're going to scan it and see exactly what classification it meets. This particular propeller should be a class one standard. We're going to check it for balance. We're going to check the cupping and we're going to make sure that the pitches match fairly closely as well. Okay, terrific. Back at the marina and with the boat on shore, East Canal of Queens Cove Marina helped me out. We made quick work of removing the old props to make way for the new. Installing the new forward bladed props was quite straightforward. The prop slips over the keyway and onto the shaft. When tightening the prop, ensure that it seats all the way back on the taper. Then secure the lock nut and install a stainless cotter pin. With the props on, it was back into the water and out on the bay for some runs and to see how the new four bladed 19 by 19s would perform. Well, I think that was a pretty successful test and points out it was worthwhile to upgrade from the three blades to the four blades. Taking the mid-range cruising speed, for example, at 3,500 with the old, it was running at 20.9 knots, burning 25.5. This time around, we're up to 23 knots, burning slightly less at 24.6. And so a little bit of a small savings, but a lot more speed and distance out of it. For a top end, the boat performed amazingly, posting 27.7 knots, but this time just under 4,200 RPM, within the range slightly lower than it was before. The surprise was the acceleration um, from zero to 20 miles an hour. These new four blades shaved off 1.6 seconds. So I think overall, well worth doing the project.